Hello! We are playing Splatoon 1 Story Mode this time. Which is kinda wacky, because I just 100 percent it like a month ago. Uh, come on. Uh, oh no. Okay, I can fix this. Audio, come on, please. Well, for now, I can get rid of this shit. Audio, please. What the fuck? Okay, well, apparently the audio's been going, so we'll just begin. Oh, I went to the wrong profile. Oh, you love that. Come on. Let me please. That's lame. Oh, fuck the Wii U. Yeah, I figured I'd play Splatoon 1 story mode just so that I have something to stream. And I can probably easily knock this out in like two or three sessions. Splatoon 1 story mode is not long at all. I mean, hell, it took me two days to actually finish the game when I replayed it. Oh, no! Oh, no! I don't remember the password for this! Fuck! Awesome! Oh, we love that. I haven't touched this like, this particular account in ages. I only entered two passwords! Okay, that works. I wasn't gonna connect to the internet anyway, because the internet for this game is dead at this point. Off to a freaking fantastic start. Oh, we love that. Oh, big boy. This time. I'm feeling crazy. Let's go with these dark ish eyes. Hey, you! Yeah, you! Want to be the freshest squid on the block? We'll teach you some funky, fresh moves on the way to Inkopolis. Ooh, I'm gonna need to adjust the sensitivity on this. I can't. Can't do it from here. Oh, even that sensitivity is too low. Actually, you know what? I don't think I need to even pop all the balloons. So I'm just going to skip them. Yeah. 
Yeah. Nintendo. Hold on to your tentacles. It's in Copple's news time. News flash, news flash. What is it? What is it? In Copple's great zapfish has vanished. Wait, seriously? If it isn't recovered soon, are we going to lose power? Oh, I I'm sure it'll be fine. Pr probably. I wonder if it has anything to do with that UFO crash. Sounds likely to me. Well, that's all for now. Until next time, stay fresh! Welcome to Inkopolis. This is the plaza where all the freshest folk come to chill like krill. Oh, no. This game is sea puns the game. Most Inklings here are obsessed with the hottest sport in Inkopolis. Ink battles! The crazy tall building in front of you is Inkopolis Tower. It's the city's most famous landmark. There's a lobby on the first floor of Inkopolis Tower for online battles. I can't do that. This is the Booyah Base, a shopping mall for all your Inkopolis needs. You can buy all kinds of fresh gear and weapons to use in battle. But check it, the staff in the shops can be snobby can be a snobby bunch. They won't serve you if you don't if they don't think you're fresh enough. Battle Dojo is on the second floor of that building over there. Check it out if you want to battle your friends one-on-one -on -one to sharpen your skills. That's the only thing you can do in this game aside from the single player and amiibo. And next we have... Huh? Who's that creepy old dude? He seems like the type who could get you mixed up in something dangerous. Whatever. Why don't you just head to the lobby in Inkopolis Tower? I can't do that! Hello, Mark. Oh, hi, Mark! And this will indeed be a 100% playthrough. Aside from upgrading the weapons, because that requires either doing all the amiibo challenges or replaying stages normally and we'll get into that the, 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 uh, 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 the octarians are coming no oh uh, hi guess i lost my cool there for a minute i'm captain cuttlefish leader of the legendary squid beak splatoon that look in your eye. It's the freshest... It, it, it's the look I've been looking for. The great zapfish that powers Inkopolis has been squidnapped. It's a fish. Nobody believes me, but it's the work of the Octarians. I just know it. They want revenge for the great turf war of 100 years ago. I've been keeping an eye on them this whole time, of course. But they stole the great zapfish right from under my nose. Please, you gotta help me rescue this great zap fitch. Crap. Zap fish? Fitch? Whatever I said. I'm gonna take your silence for a, as a yes. Starting today, you are Agent 3 of the legendary Squid Beaks Platoon. This is your new. This is your brand new hero suit. It'll help you fight the Arctarians. What a great fit! For a hand me down from Agents 1 and 2. Now let's get. Now let's go get those Octo Jerks! I'm counting on you, bucko! Right. Oh no! Fuck! <laughs> I'll come back to you in a moment, Cuttlefish. Options. 
All the options are on the touch screen. Oh, there's no sensitivity for the button. Not, for, not the button, the, uh, the right stick. Okay, interesting. I mean, I didn't have a problem when I played this last month, but oh well. get I'm gonna get uh, my, my drink out I got some Gatorades here Voice crack. Now we can begin proper. That's so much better. So, the hub worlds in this game are pretty interesting. I mean, they're nothing crazy. I mean, they, they're they all kind of samey. But for this game and Splatoon 2, you have to pretty much explore the hub world and find the invisible kettles. And you un you uncover them by spraying them with your ink. Anyway, Octo Trooper Hideout. These are power eggs. We'll get into them in a moment. So I fucking love this game's music. Splatoon 1 and Splatoon 3 have such great soundtracks. Splatoon 2 soundtrack is... It's alright. I mean, I like Octo Expansion's music. How the fuck did I not activate that launch pad? Pad ahoy! Can't hit those shielded Octo Jerks from the front. Use R to distract them with a bomb, then attack from behind. Messages. Hello. Story mode in a PvP game? Never heard of it. This is pretty cool. Yeah, I love Splatoon story modes. Except for the base Splatoon 1 story. Just makes a point to convert... Ah. I appreciate that, Zato. Fuck! What the fuck? But also, hello friends! I'm glad you guys are here. But yeah, like, the Splatoon story modes are practically platform, uh, platformer-esque. 
I mean, in a way. They're like... Shooters with platforming elements, in a way. Like, honestly, I think Splatoon has, like, one of the most unique story modes of- especially for an online multiplayer game. And in cases like this... I mean, you don't- you, you don't- you need, like, basic, basic platforming skills. Like, it's not really, like, super platformy. Like, I- I'd argue the most platforming you really do is, like, spraying walls and then going up them. But, uh, in- in case like this, where Splatoon 1's online has been down for months, I'm very glad that these games have story modes. That way, people can at least still play them to an extent. Fish off the port bow, bust in and grab it. And this thing is a sunken scroll. They give lore. We love lore. Since time immemorial, a rare type of electric catfish known as the Zapfish has been prized by Ink uh, Inkling society as a source of energy. In fact, the entire city of Inkopolis is powered by a single 100-year-old great Zapfish. Nice work on your first mission! I knew you could do it, bucko! Lair of the Octoballs. <laughs> I'm sure Matt Pat has done a Splatoon video at some point. I haven't watched Matt Pat since those Nessus Sands videos, and I was like, nope. Oh, wow. Is Splatoon too kitty like for you, Matt Pat? Honestly, based. Fuck Matt Pat. Balls! Get back here, son of a bitch. That's a squeegee. You can't hurt these fellas. Eat shit. Rip bozo. I, I know Trey is here. Hello, Trey. You are very much appreciated. Oh! This is armor. By my beard, it's armor! I didn't know he said that. <laughs> No. 
Oh, I see. Oh, that's- no, that's- okay, that's the spawn point. I just played this! How the fuck do I not remember where to go? Oh, I have to kill the guys. Is there another guy? I don't see another squee- uh, uh, not squeegee, octoball. I'm an idiot! like looking for them pig snouts and Alice madness returns you can hear the damn thing but it's not there I'm sad to report that I don't get that reference rip bozos Shit. Also, in case you guys haven't noticed, I am indeed using motion controls. Motion controls are the best way to play Splatoon. this game came out I was very hesitant on how the motion controls would work so I did the uh, insane thing of using dual stick uh, shoot aiming we Octarians dwell in a world deep underground the individual caves in which we live are connected by a network of transport devices known as kettles Wow you learn something new every day. Oh, wait, is this cuttlefish speaking? Swim through the ink in squid form. Oh shit. That's it, evil! These are ink rails. If you let go of the ZL button, you die! Like so. I had armor! Oops! Oh well, it's fine. Being Zuka! Press blum 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 to equip it. Then fire. Then open fire with ZR. Banger weapon. Scroll ahoy. Let's 
son of a bitch. She blows. So, depending on how long it takes me to beat the second world, I might end the stream there. Otherwise, I'll probably go into like the third world. of the Octocoppers. This seems to be an Octarian assault vehicle, but it doesn't appear to have any an, uh, an engine. The big question then, how does it move? It's, frightening, it's frighteningly clear that the source of Octarian power lies outside the realm of established science. This guy is like the epitome of bearded dwarf pirate. That's essentially what he is. He's like He's like a retired Navy squid pilot, or yeah, squid pilot of some so of some sort. I love Cuttlefish. He's like one of the greatest characters in in the series. for days now we gotta get crafty with our ink uh, ink shootage. It's a very, very easy boss. Oh, fuck! Okay! <laughs> Maybe he's not as easy as I thought! Squash Smash, the mighty Octo Stamp, has been defeated. Avast! They have the great Octo Weapons on their side. At any rate, good work, Agent 3. Keep it up. It's a long road to the great Zapfish. Anti-Octopus Weapon Blueprints. These, uh, boss, boss sunken scrolls unlock new weapons for the story mode that you have to buy. So, uh, once again, we can't do that because this game's offline. Not gonna worry about that. It is open. Let's head to the next area. I have heard of the blob. I vague I I like know it a little bit, 
By which I mean I know the main, like, the I know the blobby guy. Oh yeah, some surfaces you can't, you can't ink. Yeah! Little guys. That's actually kind of creepy. Oh, trust me, Splatoon Online is pretty chaotic. Okay, I think that's all the levels here. Oh, banger! Banger song! Shoot a gusher! Blah 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 blah. Mini Octo Stamp. Oh, I guess that's just the normal Octo Stamp. Cool. You say heave ho a lot, or heave heave ho. Oh god! Oh my god! That was clutch. I almost died there. I'm <laughs> sure. And we're already done with this level, pretty much. Got this time. The scroll was found in a deep rock lair. Its age estimated at approximately 2,000 years. It details the ancient turf wars of a th uh, of the time. It seems the basic four versus four battle format had already been established at the stage. Turf war being the main online mode that's not ranked. Sponge Garden. Eat 
shit and die. Actually, no, this works. Nice. Yeah. Forgot about that one. doesn't suspect a thing. What a sad way to go. I basically assassinated that bastard. Damn it! This kind of looks like Incopolis Tower. Terrifying biology of the inkling. Strength. Can leap up to five feet. Brain. Simple and predatory. Bones. None. Eyes. Can spot prey from 100 yards away. Defense. High pressure, high capacity ink sac. Playground. Oh yeah, I'm going to Access World 3 in no time. shocked I was able to reach all those.
feel like this platform needs to be this this long. Easy. Easy game. Still fun, though. This is... I honestly like this game's story mode more than Splatoon 2's. Because I just don't think Splatoon 2's base story mode is all that fun. The Department of Energy has announced that further declines in the availability of electric power are likely to occur in the near future. With the underground domes also deteriorating rapidly, the future does not look too bright. Now these are some of my favorite, Octoling Invasions. They take actual maps from the online mode, some of which weren't even present in uh, the 1.0 up or the 1.0 version of Splatoon 1 and were added in future updates for free. Like this map for instance, Kelp Dome. We've got company bucko, Octoling's ahead. These scallywags can turn these octo can turn into octopuses and swim too. That's not the plural for octopus. Aye, well done. Oh, you know what? He probably said octopuses as a slur. Because inklings are racist. Guess I have to. Oh, uh, that's a special Octopussy. Now, with as open as these levels are, finding the sunken scroll can be a bit annoying. This is the start of the stage. I remember this being in some weird location when I 100%ed this last month. Found it. I'm back at the start. one through the grate.
Health Dome Showdown. Paradise lost by what? Octolin... Octolin... <coughs> Octolin Geo, I guess? Uh, Octolin... Octolin Jello, I guess. Wait a minute. That was eight. Oh! I never got the seventh kettle! Where the fuck? Like somewhere over here. No. Oh, hello, friend. Passing a checkpoint recovers a segment of your life gauge. It's so warm here, makes me want to take a nap. Okay. 